and your friends and I have seen you again and you broke as gone. <laughs> so, hello, come back to another episode of the Self Development with Tactics podcast. And um, today we're going to go through, um, since it is already quite late, it is 9 p.m., uh, we are going to go through a bit of Reddit stuff. Probably, um, uh, for sure, we're going to be the stoicism subreddit because most often there are pretty great um, questions and and also very 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 great answers. Very often, most often. You know, let's, let's actually say most often. You know, I don't want to say always because this is just not the truth. This is just not how things work and how things are. But we are going to have a look at things. Whether we can find something amazing, something that is at least okay, maybe even just good, but we are gonna see. No, this is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to take you. No. Can I just please? I would like to. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Amazing. Another cancer update. I have one mouth of chemo left. <laughs> mouth, month, I'm sorry. The end is in sight. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I never let cancer break my spirit. I thank my wonderful mom, who has been my caretaker, my family and my friends who have been amazingly supportive, sending me care packages and messaging me every day. I also thank stoicism. When shit hits the fan, this philosophy really works. I am so thankful for... I'm so thankful my cancer has a good prognosis, but this philosophy is also good for those who don't. And just because my prognosis is good doesn't mean chemo hasn't been an absolute bitch to survive. It's the worst, but it's necessary to save my life. This community has been really supportive as well, so thank you all for that. Well, um, I do unfortunately have a bit of insight into the whole chemotherapy thing um not from a uh, um, how do you say not from a first person perspective i uh fortunately have not had cancer um really hope that i'm never going to have because it's, it's a fucked up thing you know nobody wants nobody wants that but um, very close people had to deal with it also from a third uh, third person view kind of thing um, and it is horrible it really is um, it, it's, it, it breaks spirits it's you know cancer and chemotherapy you know because it's it's fucking with you you're not gonna feel great afterwards you're always feeling shit a lot of people really um, feel well ill and, and like throwing up afterwards and uh, it is definitely something i do not wish anybody to have um it is fucked up especially when uh i don't know when it is families very young families this is it's insane then um thinking about children that are losing their the parents were very early due to that and you can't do anything about that you really can't you can just try as the hopefully leftover parent um make things as good for the child as you can um but it's not easy it really isn't um especially not for the child of course uh when you're growing up with just one pants you know one side whether it is female or male there is always going to be something that you're not going to get, fortunately. Um, so uh, it's it's no good. It's definitely definitely a fucked up thing. Definitely something to to also keep in mind when um, when you're getting children, the way their surrounding is going to be like. You know, do they have a good surrounding? What I mean is. Are you suited for having children now? It is really something to think about when you're um, about to get children, about to have children. Are you capable of doing so? Are you going to be a good parent? 
because it is a fucking burden you know there's there's a lot of stuff that you need to be doing you know you always need to be there for this child at least you should be this is my point of view you know of course there are different points of views and different ways of um doing things um but yeah think about that it's very important at least at my point of view and i really do also hope that some people agree but yeah a food delivery service that finds you at the same times every day based on your phone's gps location wherever you are if it is time for your meal the delivery guy will just show up with something you like business idea why why would i like to have that you know why would i like to just um spend money if ever you don't want to do so like um i wouldn't get it but i also don't spend any money on quite anything so i may also be just the wrong candidate for something like that <laughs> to be honest um i female wants to stop getting in my own way when it comes to crushes so here's the thing when i don't like someone much or when they have made it abundantly clear time and time again that they like me i'm myself i'm fun i'm friendly i'm chill but when i like someone and i'm not sure where i stand disaster i've had this crush for like three months plenty of signs he may dig me i get in my hand and get in my own way i catch him start staring at me for the 10th time in one class he's only looking to see if i'm looking and he thinks i'm a weirdo don't smile look away right away he asks me if i'm get coffee after class he's just curious he's not asking to get coffee with me i triple guess his every word and action like some sort of detective i always been this with crushes i'm sorry for reading this so shitty <laughs> he liked me on tinder once he was just there's a question mark once um he's just being nice and paying me a compliment well uh i actually don't have to do it in that way um is there something more to it i've been na, 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 na. the thing is i if i have any shot with him i'm probably jeopardizing it by not being me i'm awkward and aloof i don't know what aloof means but um, i'm playing hard to get kind of on purpose but also accidentally as a chronic overthinker, this behavior has classically taken over my thoughts for months and deliberated my quality of life. The only way to break the cycle for me was to confront them and just be like, yo, do you like me? And then one or another, I could move on. And that is my own experience through, though, might be worth a thought if you think it is relevant to you, of course. Um, it, it, it may be a situation that we all have encountered at some point of time maybe not necessarily the exact same situation but in the end boils down it is about uh, having a crush and not really knowing what to do about it and also not really knowing where where i'm standing you know and, and how i should be acting what i should be doing um if it even makes sense you know is it worth time and effort and the emotions and the disaster and, and, and whatnot because um i don't know as far as, as at least this may just be the case for me as fast as you can see something really good in somebody you can also very easily and or just you know very fast um just see i don't want to say nothing and i also don't want to say bad in somebody but just not what you've seen before you know this 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 sparkle you know let's call it a sparkle um which is yeah it's it's, it's nothing bad you know and, and and of course uh well i don't know we we get interested and we lose interest and so on and so forth but um i don't know i always believe in the fact that when you're interested in somebody and and this other person is also um interested in in you um then um then then then, then it's amazing because it, it may actually just be what you want to have. Sometimes it may just also not be what you want to have. You know, sometimes we just want to have the chase, somebody chasing um, after us and somebody just, you know, doing doing something. I don't know. Um, 
if it makes sense, no fucking, it doesn't. It really does not, but this is just the human mind, I'd say. Only someone with inhuman confidence or has reached enlightenment will be able to not get nervous and excited around someone they have a crush on. It is okay to feel that way. I would say to trust your instincts, not your thoughts. If your instincts say he likes you, then they are probably right. Conscious thought and metacognition are relatively new compared to the millions of years of our evolved social instincts. Thank you. Regarding the second paragraph, you're probably right. In the moment when we're smiling, when we are smiling and choking around together, I'll be sure he does like me. It's only when I'm alone and have time to think. I'm like, maybe he touches everyone on the forearm or whatever and convince myself I imagined a why. Well, this may actually also be the case. You know, this just may be how this person lives his life. You know, some people are just, I don't want to say touchy because this is very um, negatively connotated, but some people are just really fine with um, touching other people and they also like to do so because it is a sign of, okay, I, I just like you. I, I like talking to you. You know, it is fine that I'm talking to you and it's, it's also good that you're so close to me right now. Which makes feel, which makes people feel good about themselves and about the situation and so on and so forth. I guess I assume, but yeah. Hey, first of all, the fear comes from stakes, like there's something to lose, and uh, that kind of is at the moment. But when it comes to life in its entireness, there is there simply isn't. Second, figure out what is the belief standing on the way of you seeing yourself as a crushable, lovable, magnetic person. Let yourself be nervous. Let yourself be nervous and anxious. You aren't doing anything abnormal by feeling that way. Then figure out how to move your body while feeling like that. What does this have to do with just moving your body? I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, it is okay to feel. It is okay to feel bad. It is okay to... Um, to, to, to feel shitty sometimes. Um, I have to believe that it just shouldn't be like your normality, you know, that this is just how things are always, you know. This, this should not really not be the case. Of course, you should not always be uh, anxious or angry or sad or whatnot. Um, also because you're just not going to feel good. Bye being that by doing that by whatever you know it's just no just no period um on the other hand it's just okay because we all are human we all get overwhelmed we all are stressed we all get angry we all get sad uh, we all are sad um and we all have just our problems and the things that um uh, we dislike we hate we just do not want to deal with whatever it may be uh, it is okay it really is um, life to to a big degree i would say is just trying to understand yourself and just trying not to judge yourself if you have you know done x y or c or if if this and or that happened um it is fine it happened especially when it already happened you cannot do anything about that and being angry and being upset and and being being sad about something, it's, it's not going to make anything better. It is indeed going to make everything worse. And so one should. Obviously, it is sad very easily. You know, just be happy. Just, just you know, uh, um, just be fine. Just uh, be okay. And, and whatever it may be, all these fucking dumb sayings. It's, it's not the case. You know, it's not that easy to be um, just happy. Um, but one can work on that, building a life that makes sense regarding it, um, having habits that make sense regarding it, you know, working out, meditation, doing things that you like, um, monitoring when you're feeling sad, bad, or whatever it may be, and, and when you're feeling really good, and then just trying to figure out what is this due to. Why am I always feeling bad when uh, X, Y, and Z is happening? Well... <laughs> Some things, uh, you, you cannot get around it. The only thing you can do about them is changing the way you think about these things. For example, work. I mean, if you hate every single day of work, then you should probably change your job. Um, a and B, you cannot change it. You have to work. You have to have money unless you're able to just win in the lottery. And, you know, that is, of course, an amazing thing. 
but um, you cannot do anything about that. We all just have to. And we can make it better by having a great job, by having a job that we enjoy and we like, uh, um, and or just having a very low living standard. This is another option, you know, something else that, that, that we can do, that uh, we can work on, that we can um, try to uh, use for our advantage, I'd say, or something. But yeah. I say don't play hard to get. So what is the purpose? Worst things you can do is not be yourself. But you know, this is a problem. You know, it's about being yourself even though you want to be yourself. The only way to stop getting in your own way is not to overthink it. Simple but not easy. Men are more straight. Forwards than women and him asking about getting coffee and stuff and anything else he may do that. May hints that he is interested back. So say something like, yeah, I'm getting coffee after class. Would you like to come with me? Of course, you know, uh, we all know what to say. Kind of, you know, we all have seen movies. Uh, we all could imagine what it is like and whatnot, but doing that this is insane uh, getting up to your crush and being like you know do you want to get coffee with me what if this person is just uh, dislikes you what if all the signs have indeed been wrong i don't know can be the case we all have experience like this um okay i felt like this person is interested but in just in reality it's been utter bullshit <laughs> quite um but yeah, I, I'm a read it. So say something, class would like to come. So just answer the question, ask if he wants to come with, because no one knows if he has, if he was asking to go with you, and even if he wasn't, you saying that shows that you have interested in him, which may make him really think about the thought of having a crush on your back. Mm, yeah. And I noticed you didn't say anything about you showing him interest. So he very well may like you and you overthink and not showing him interest would seem to him that you don't like him at all. Yes, this is kind of the case. Lastly, you said that you are jeopardizing yourself and you definitely are. You're overthinking and not showing him interest back because you're afraid to hurt your ego or your self-esteem. Well, now it's just, you know, some things that I don't really... A lot of people actually just having really big texts really long ones not big ones but really long ones anyway i wish the best see you soon bye bye